Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. We have managed to get something done today, surprisingly. The site was shutting early, so we were on a second lift. We've got 14 courses to go up at. I think it's 40 odd brick long, plus five on the front and five on four or five, maybe four or five on the back. So say it was 50 long at least, and we got 14 courses, about 700 brick, give or take. Um, we've managed to get it in come half past 10. So from eight o'clock till half past 10, eight, two and a half hours. Managed to get a good hit in, me and Jamie. Uh, and it pays for most of the day, to be fair, which is good. Uh, we'd have got a lot more in today if we could have stayed, but that's by the by. This method that you're watching on this side, we started off this morning and we did start off by Jamie going and uh, his, him going one end, he filled up the boards, put a bucket on each at least anyway. He filled up the boards and then he decided that he was going to work one end and I'd work the other and just meet each other in the middle or wherever we get to. However, I didn't feel like that was the quickest method and if you're working one and one, and you, your man is decent on the trowel and you want to keep it going I would recommend doing it this way so whoever's the slower the two bricklayers suck it up if you are two bricklayers or if you're one on one just get the man spreading in front of you these are a super dry brick so you've got to lay fast so as it doesn't dry up too quick smash it, smash it, smash it, smash it the only problem you get when you try and go a bit quicker is you might lose your pier line a little bit. Um, so you've got to try and keep an eye on that as much as you can. And that's about it. As long as, as long as, so see what I'm doing on this, I'm back perping. I'm picking dipping, but I'm making sure that I'm back perping all the time. Because if I don't back perp, when you get up, the inspectors will love to see it all full at the back. So you've got to make sure that back perp is full regardless. So even regardless of whether you're uh, picking, dipping or whatever you're doing, make sure you've at least got that joint on the back. And with these super dry brick, you want to get that back scraped straight away as well. Rather than normally what I do pick and dipping, I just come back on the course and scrape the whole thing through. Doesn't really, uh, doesn't really help you any on this because the motor dries out that quick that by the time you get to it, it's no good to use again, so you don't want to chuck it back on your spots. So I would recommend definitely back perp and scrape at the same time, get your man spreading in front of you, and when he gets to the other end, rather than him laying back to you, he can go and top up the boards, uh, stack up the brick on his way through and start spreading again, and just keep getting on like that. And you'll be surprised on how many more you can get down rather than him going one end and you go in the other end and it and it saves you both having drop out to get buckets as well or, or one of you is at least working all the time and if he gets that far in front which he won't because if he gets that far in front he can start jointing at the same time if you be able to get in front one and one if your man can spread and get it jointed at the same time and if he does that then he can start laying some back to you you have got yourself a good second man there so there ain't many who can do who can get that far in front if the brick is quick as well so you'll see you'll see the speed i'm going at and that's the speed you should be going at i don't know how many an hour that is but you'll be able to see if you count how many i get down in per minute when i'm laying you'll see the kind of numbers that you're getting anyway been an early day, uh, so the missus has gone shopping. Oh, we've got a nice dry day, but we've only got a short day because the site's shutting early doors. So we've got a flank to pull in. We're going to get as much done of it as, of it as we can uh, and see where we get to. Second lift. Nice dry bricks, though. Let's get going. Oh, three quarters. Oh, don't do this to me. 
Shag, can you go get my sword out of the car? Yeah, do it. Uh, I might as well get the Fuck. thing as well, aren't I? What? Yeah, a bundle of ties. I think there's something else underneath. Get my sword out of the car, mate. Yeah. God almighty, there's three quarters all the way up there. Well, that's the first one. Jalopy. I'll go from the opposite side then. Can you believe that? Forgot about that. God almighty. Feel a little bit claustrophobic down here today. He's put the music on, Annie. It would do. Rasmus, ah, the Rasmus. Remember that band? The Rasmus, yeah. Oh, is that the song? That's the song. Do you remember him or not? Yeah. The Rasmus. Oh, Rasmus. Oh, yeah. That's a bit indie, isn't it? The Razo, ah. I, mean, I, don't, I don't know who they are, but I, I don't know any of the songs even. But I can't remember yeah, what it was. I've heard the, I've heard the name. I can't remember how it goes. I think it goes like this The Rasmus! <laughs> 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 Mates with Bagpuss, Rasmus. <laughs> <laughs>